So let's talk a little bit more about inflammation. In order to understand inflammation, we have to understand one of the one of the officers of all inflammation is going to be this nuclear factor called nuclear factor kappa B. Nuclear factor kappa B is responsible for creating pro-inflammatory cytokines, which are the driving force of all of the most devastating diseases that we know: rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, uh, inflammatory bowel diseases, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, certainly MS as well. So nuclear factor kappa B is responsible to create the pro-inflammatory cytokines that drive all of those inflammatory diseases that I mentioned. So uh, if there's a way that you can downregulate nuclear factor kappa B, you can, you can, you can downregulate and slow down and calm all of those downstream effects, all of those downstream inflammations and diseases. That's exactly, of course, uh, I mean, you probably knew where I was going with that, but what high bush cranberry bark does is, uh, is downregulate the production of uh, nuclear factor kappa B. A lot of those inflammatory diseases, uh, you're going to have, you're going to be able to have so much more control over them. One of the studies that was done on inflammatory bowel disease was a comparative study done between high bush cranberry bark, 5 aminosalicylic acid, which is like the conventional treatment for inflammatory bowel diseases like pentaza, acicol, event all of these different things they did a comparative study so it was like head to head high bush cranberry versus amino salicets they were neck and neck they were able to like they were so close in their effectiveness but the concentrations of high bush cranberry bark the concentrations of uh, cyanide and three glucoside were so much lower than than the amino salicets were and so it was much safer and certainly when they are used together their ability to control these diseases was way higher and so i'm a big fan of complementary therapy i think that a lot of uh, uh, a lot of traditional medicine the shlabamshkika is going to work side by side with some of the uh, pharmaceutical components that have been created and this is certainly the case with inflammatory bowel disease and a lot of the other inflammation inflammatory diseases that i mentioned so so I, I, I kind of, yeah, and my wife really taught me to stay away from using words like cure and heal and sort of work more towards complementary treatment and work to more towards really help with. And this is something that high bush cranberry bark really exemplifies as far as inflammation. It doesn't turn off nuclear factor kappa B, but it down regulates it so that you can control your disease. And uh, that's a really good place to be for somebody where it's not controlled and it's just wild uh, and you're in a flare, an arthritis flare, ulcerative colitis flare, psoriasis flare. Those are really hard to take care of. And if there was anything for you to grasp, anything for you to latch on to that's going to help a little bit, this is what I wanted to be able to offer. And that's high bush cranberry bark.